Hello, welcome to our Flowforma presentation. My name is Paul Stone and I'm here with my colleague David Shanley to show you a little bit about our Proforma product. My name is Paul Stone and I'm a solution architect. I've been with Flowforma since its inception. My name is David Shanley. I'm a pre-sales consultant with Flowforma. I've been with the company since 2013. Flowforma BPE is a business process enablement tool that allows business consultants to deliver a solution for any business process. The Flowforma product automates and accelerates any business processes spanning human resources, finance, audit and compliance, indeed any business unit. Both internal and external resources can be included in the process. Flowforma sits on the proven SharePoint platform, storing all information collected during the execution of the workflow in SharePoint. Seamlessly integrating people with custom workflows, Flowforma provides the business consultant with form, workflow and document generation capabilities, all packaged together in a single, intuitive and easy to use tool that requires no coding. Everyday processes exist within all levels in your organization, such as performance reviews, capex and expenses. Flowforma can quickly deliver these processes either from scratch are using one of our standard process templates. Dark processes are processes with poor visibility in an organization. They are informal and often ad hoc. Many use a combination of Excel sheets and email trails. By its very nature, Excel is a data silo and email is a black hole. It's difficult for end users to see where a process sits and how it is performing, impacting management's ability to set SLAs. Flowforma is an integrated enablement tool for dark processes, providing complete visibility, accountability, and measurability. Collaborative decisions range from supporting tactical decisions through to strategic decision making. New product development and clinical decisions are two good examples. Flowforma can bring added value by including external parties in these processes. Flowforma supports lean methodologies with both real-time and historical activity reporting. This allows process owners to understand and address process bottlenecks. Flowforma installs as an Office 365 add-in, and when it installs, it creates a site which contains all of your workflow definitions, or which we call flows, and your workflow instances, which we refer to as forms. You can create a new instance by clicking on Create New Form, and then selecting the workflow that you want to run. In this case, we're going to select the lead request, which is a simple workflow to illustrate some key concepts. The form is rendered and shows you a header area, which can contain graphics and text, depending on your particular preference, and then a step bar, which is a visual representation of the workflow. In this case, we have three simple steps, and the current step is highlighted in white, so we're on the very first step, employee leave request. The area below that shows the information that needs to be collected for the employee leave request to be completed. The very first question there you'll see is mandatory as indicated by an asterisk. You can also include help text here if you want to. The first question is a list lookup. So you look up the list, uh, you find a list record, then you pull the information into the form. The dynamic nature of the form is uh, enabled through business rules. So as you select an employee from list, for example, it displays additional fields and pulls information back from the list into the form. As you move down through the information and complete all the details, and um, once you're happy with it, you can press submit at the bottom, which submits this step and moves on to the next logical step in the workflow. The next steps are normally assigned to a different resource. In this case, it will be my manager. However, I've set myself up to be my own, my own manager for this uh, demonstration. And I can see the lead request by clicking on the tab and then carrying out my action. In this case, I'm going to reject the request. So <laughs> the system asks for a reason for that rejection. And when I press submit, it will now automatically loop back to the first step and the rejected reason is displayed on the screen. I can then go in and amend the details and submit them forward again. So the system basically allows you to loop around through the workflow depending on certain conditions being met. Once I'm happy with all the information, I click on yes, and they will be able to go in and uh, modify the information and submit it forward again. There's lots of different field types in the system, but we also allow you to uh, attach documentation, which is saved in the SharePoint site and associated with the workflow instance. 
I'd now like to show you how that workflow was configured in the system. You can open up the flow definition of the lead request by clicking on the lead request in the flows list and this opens a tool called the flow designer. The flow designer shows the steps in the workflow. Here we see the three steps and these can be rearranged according to the correct sequence of the workflow. When you open up a particular step you can see all the questions within that step and all the questions are of different types. The employee question for example is a lookup which looks up a list called the employee list and this question is configured using a web form, as indeed are all questions in the um, leave request step. The questions are configured using a web form and the parameters for the particular question type are shown. In that case we saw a lookup. Let's have a look now at a different question, the, annual, the date, leave start date, which is a date and time question. In this case we see a very similar web form. However, the parameters below are a little bit different. There are a lot of different question types available, and for each one of the question types, different parameters are shown relative to that particular question type. If you take a look at the personal group question type, for example, the parameters down below um, allow you to restrict the value to members of a certain group, for example. There are many other question types supported by the system. The file upload is a little bit interesting. It allows you to supply a document as the answer to a question. So for example, please upload your CV and then you'd supply a document to that. On the employee question, I've set up a series of business rules. You may remember when you selected an employee, several fields automatically appeared on the screen. When we use a business rule, all our business rules have the same format. They basically have an event and then some conditions which when executed, if they're true, cause an action to happen. In this case, for example, I could enter a condition where if the employee name was equal to, oh, let's say Paul Stone, then the uh, system will show a series of fields on the screen. The fields are displayed below. Because this is a hide show question business rule, it displays the rule uh, fields asso associated with that. So for example, with high show question, you can show a series of questions. We'll get list data. You can get um, data from a specific list, etc. All of the rule definitions are parameterized like this. Here, the high show step rule allows you to select a step and then choose to hide it or show it. And indeed, this is how we handle workflow branching because you can do that. You can do this action conditionally, so you can say if yes, if no, then show this or that step in the workflow. We have a whole series of business rules. Um, step assigned can reassign resources to different steps. Get list data can pull information from data lists. Add update form is interesting. You can launch sub processes within a different site um, based on the data that you have collected in your current workflow. You can also send emails. We use a system of templates for emails where which contain the body content. Um, and then you can send emails on a specific date. And you can also attach documents to emails. You can also generate documents. We use a system of document templates where you can generate a document based on a template which will include information from the form and it will be saved, associated with the form and saved in the SharePoint site. We can then set permissions on those documents to ensure those documents are not um, adjusted. One of the great strengths of Proforma is a variety of question types and business rules available out of the box. Proforma has a template system for document generation the templates are defined in Microsoft Word. Proforma developed a plugin for Word that allows administrators to incorporate form data into documents. To use the plugin, you simply select the Proforma tab in Word and open the Proforma panel. The panel automatically retrieves the flow definition from the SharePoint site and allows the user to click on questions to place tags inside the template. This will be replaced with form data when a document is generated. You can then include business rules in the flow to generate a document based on the template at appropriate points in the workflow. The template system also has business rules functionality inside the document that includes or excludes areas of text based on conditions. The system was designed to handle complex legal contracts where clauses were included based on the answers to questions in a form. Word works very well as an editor as all of the formatting functionality can be applied to the document templates. Flowforma mobile app is available for iOS and Android devices. It's designed to operate in a similar way on all types of devices. The app provides the user with a similar user interface to the browser version. 
so that the user can easily switch between using the same form on any device. The fact there is no need to maintain a separate browser and mobile version of a form, as the same data fields and business rules apply regardless of the device. The forms can be completed offline and synchronized with the SharePoint server where connectivity is restored. Flowforma enables rapid solution delivery. The speed of Flowforma promotes a prototyping approach where a functioning prototype can be delivered shortly after an initial analysis workshop. Subsequent workshops review the prototypes and refinements are applied quickly to ultimately deliver a solution. End users are fully engaged in the solution build as they frequently review prototypes. Flowforma provides a single tool to configure the whole workflow and form solution, including all the workflow steps, business rules and all the questions. This means that the requirements captured in the process workshops can be easily delivered through configuration in the flow designer. Flowforma can be integrated with other systems in a number of ways. You can use SharePoint BCS or other third-party tools to represent external data as lists within SharePoint. Flowforma can access and update lists directly. Alternatively, you can use SQL Server as a bridge between Flowforma and external systems, where Flowforma can pass values to and from stored procedure parameters without the need for coding. Another approach is to call web services, again passing values between the form and the web services. This approach currently requires a small amount of simple code, but will be incorporated into a standard no-code business rule later this year. Flowforma has a complex internal structure, using its own workflow forms and document generation functions, but at the same time interacting with SharePoint content and using the facilities that SharePoint provides to store all of the flow and form data. Flowforma uses concepts of a HTML5 app, using HTML5, CSS and JavaScript to build a user interface and WCF REST services to perform server-side actions. It works independently from SharePoint workflow engines but can be used to integrate with traditional workflows. It uses content and artifacts available within SharePoint, i.e. lists and document libraries. The app architecture contains several components that deploy in different ways depending on the infrastructure and operates in a similar way regardless of the infrastructure. The same code base is utilized for on-premise and Office 365 installations, allowing workflows on both platforms to interact with each other. Flowforma's overall approach also ensures that the end user experience, whether as a workflow administrator or a general user, is always similar regardless of the infrastructure used on the server side or client side. Flowforma provides a great deal out of the box, however the product is designed to be extensible. New question types and business rules can be constructed to fill any gaps between Flowforma out-of-the-box functionality and the business requirements. Extensions can be constructed using JavaScript and HTML, which interact with the Flowforma API, passing information between the outside world and the Flowforma form. For example, a question type could be built to render a map inside a form by calling the Google Maps web service and rendering the returned image in a question value. The Flowforma API can also be called from .NET code. For example, an event receiver can be constructed to create a form whenever a list item is created. Flowforma is licensed based on the number of users using it, not on the number of users accessing SharePoint or the configuration of the underlying infrastructure. Flowforma adopts a usage model where you pay for the software on an annual recurring basis. The annual fee includes software assurance so you can always be sure that you can avail of the latest product features. Upgrading to a higher usage level is very straightforward. You can start small and grow as new users or business units are incorporated into your processes. I'd like to show you a brief example of what can be achieved in Flowforma in a set timeline. Here we have a, another form called an NCO, which is a non-performance report. And the form contains many steps, um, many workflow steps, and also quite a lot of data. Here I've mapped out all the workflow steps and a lot of the data items um, on the first couple of steps. And it includes some business rules to show and hide information, and also um, some business rules to do some validation. So when I try and submit this step, for example, it says, no, there's some mandatory information on the step. I've got to go back up and enter that detail before I can proceed. Once I've entered the detail, 
the system will go away and start producing some documentation. Um, it will send um, several emails and generate uh, an attached document. This all happens um, in the background on the server. And while we're waiting for that to complete, the step shows a little um, um, spinner. And once it it's finished the work on the server, it will come back and move on to, to step number two, which is to review the information. And here we go. So this is showing you the review step, where your non-conformance report is being completed, and now you're being asked to review it. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of complexity on this step. There's lots of different fields and types and tables and so on. Um, and if I want to see the previous step again, I can just click on the previous step. And here's all the data that was entered. And down below, we'll see that there's been an attached document, which is a PDF, um, which includes some information from the step. Now, as you can see, this is far from complete. However, everything that you've seen has been built um, in the space of three hours. So all of the steps and data items, business rules, document generation, emails, um, constructed in three hours are presented back to the user, uh, which of course has a very um, strong impact to see a solution built so quickly. Thank you for listening to our presentation today. You may go to the Forma site to download a free 30-day trial, which is unlimited and gives you an opportunity to create a prototype and try it out. Or you can book a walkthrough demo with one of our product specialists. Any questions? Speak to one of our experts or email info at Thank you for attending today.